Have you tried to hold your breath underwater when you were a kid? Have you ever thought about why you need it? There's oxygen underwater. Why not use it for breathing? Well, we could do that if our respiratory system was adapted like fish gills, but sadly, our lungs are not. The water blocks the access to oxygen for the alveoli, which leads to the seemingly easy observation that gas can only be exchanged on land. But wait a minute, do you remember the scene in the abyss where the character was submerged in water but wore a special helmet containing a fluid which enabled him to breathe underwater? This seems like a fantasy. But meanwhile, modern science seriously hopes for and researches liquid breathing so it can be applied successfully in medicine or astronautics. However, scientists are still working on it, so people have to manage without air and gills. Like Alex Segura from Spain, who set a world record in 2016 for holding breath underwater. Incredible 24 minutes and 3 seconds. But if you try to attempt to break this record, remember that the stop of respiratory movements, it is also called apnea, for more than 20 minutes is only possible at hypernia. Hypernia is increased depth and rate of breathing performed before diving. This method is just as efficient as dangerous, because it may lead to deoxygenation and can cause you to faint, so it's better not to practice it at home if you have not gone through a long course of diaphragm training, lung volume increasing, and even meditative practices. If Alex set his record in a comfortable pool, then William Winram's achievement looks much creepier. The Canadian freediver was the first who managed to dive without a diving suit, paddles and scuba in the famous cave with the promising name, Blue Hole. And by the way, it is 145 meters deep. But when you learn that William loves to swim with white sharks, this comes to no surprise. Carlos Coste from Venezuela chose to go further instead of deeper, and in 2016, he broke his own record and swam 177 meters underwater. Before you give critical remarks regarding the distance, remember that he was equipped just with his skills and enthusiasm, goggles, nose clip, and a mermaid-like monofin. That is all he had from as a sport outfit. To achieve such a result, it is not enough to know how to hold breath properly. It took three years of training for Carlos before he learned how to keep up steady speed, control his body position underwater, and choose the right motion trajectory. But all of them are athletes, stars of free diving and movie characters. But is there a way to breathe underwater which can be done by mere mortals? Everything is possible, and even if you never scuba dove before, you have a chance to explore the underwater world of the Caribbean coast, a forest creek, or a pond near your country house. Of course, only if you find the proper application of Coca-Cola bottles, caps from your girl's nail polish, a bicycle tire, and a condom in your pocket, like the heroes of our rating who invented some of the most unusual homemade aqua lungs. Put a 20-liter bottle on your head, attach a giant hose to it, make sure you have a reliable friend available as well as a tight suit, jump into the creek and go crazy. This is the simple philosophy of the first video. The hero's partner on the shore is pumping air into the bottle with a bicycle pump to build up pressure. In other words, the diver is totally dependent on this guy. You know it is not a task to be entrusted to anyone. If you have such a friend, you can go deep to the bottom, but do not forget to securely attach the bottle to the scuba while tightening straps. It seems that our hero is surprised that the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide inside the improvised scuba is working, and inspired by success, he is submerging even deeper grabbing a heavy stone as an anchor, and with his feet on land later, he convinces the viewers that everything is impossible. The second option of a homemade scuba looks not that conspicuous. In fact, it is a construction consisting of two fixed on a forearm nebulizers, devices for inhalation with a breathing tube. You can throw away the internal tubes of inhalers and cover the end with nail polish bottle caps, but keep in mind that it is important to use non-toxic glue. A simple bottle cap acts as a guide member for thin tubes, in which you need to pierce two holes. Fix this cap on the end of the respiratory tube and the ends of the thin tubes attached to the nebulizers. And they in turn are fixed on, wait a minute, a shin guard which you can pull on the forearm to release your hands. The nebulizers pump allows you to pump air into them before diving. The most amazing thing about this scuba is that it works and even allows its owner to rise up from the depth unharmed. Before the hero of the next video managed to mark a place for himself in the history of diving, he had to deal with 4 liters of Coca-Cola. Well, we're not going to debate how harmful it is, let's focus on the technical details. The air will flow from the two bottles fixed on his back. 
all the other elements can be simply bought on Amazon. Spray gun, valve to shut the airflow, couple of flexible tubes and fittings to them. And of course, nothing will happen without strong glue. The construction basis, which resembles a jetpack, was cut out of a rain barrel and a bicycle tire was used as the straps. We don't know the depth, but judging by how positive he was, the testing of the device has been successful. Unlike previous inventors, the hero of the next video, Artem, does not recommend anyone to repeat this kind of experiment at home. Do not attempt this at home. Although, of course, his experiment looks so easy that it is hard to sit still and refrain from grabbing the nearest garden sprayers. Their advantage over Coca-Cola bottles is that they have a pump for pumping compressed air, so you do not need any extra parts. And to ensure that the balloons do not automatically release the air, you just need to untwist the cap and glue the opening that serves as a valve. Two one-meter long tubes are fixed on the sprayer's nozzles, and the tube for swimming with a back pressure valve is connected through a T fitting on the opposite side. Before diving, the blogger tests the construction in the bathroom, just in case. After that, he attaches additional weight to the scuba so that it is not pushed upward. That is it. He is off to explore the underwater world of a nearby lake. If you take your time and make 150 air injections, you will be able to make 10 full breaths underwater. And finally, we are happy to present the fifth video of our rating to you, in which the amateur diver Vitaly turns a 5-liter bottle into a scuba. He attaches the hose to it through two holes, made by a red-hot awl. This bottle is intended to let the air in. Don't forget to twist the joints tight and pour glue in so that water doesn't trickle through them. The breathing tube is on the other end of the hose. Initially, the diver himself is not confident about the construction's obvious minimalism, so he has a plan B. Having the tube cut into two parts, he attaches an oxygen supply valve to the suit and tied a condom to the other end of the tube to create a pressure and air supply. Now everything is ready. He can sink to the bottom of a deep flooded quarry with a bag of stones in his hand. However, the shocked expression on the hero's face after he stepped on the land showed us that the construction wasn't that effective, so it's better to refrain from home experiments and instead use these rubbers for the intended purpose. Cool.